Hi, I'm Chef Sabrina Breezy Arlotta, and welcome to Yacht Time. We are going to do a little exercise today to keep us fit because being a chef in the kitchen is no easy task. And you know what we have? <laughs> what we don't have is a whole lot of time to do any exercise. So it's really great to squeeze in a little moment or two here and there to keep us super flexible, healthy, and strong. The stove top is really busy right now. There's all kinds of stuff happening. It's about 27 minutes until meal time, and I have a tiny little window of about two minutes that I can use to improve my health. So what's the best stretch in the world? Just touch your toes, just touch your toes. Or get as close to your toes as you can. If your knees is as far as you can go, stop there. Bend your knees a little bit. That'll give you a little more stretching space. I can actually touch my toes, so I will. And you can stay down touching your toes. Let me see your back a little bit. You can stay down touching your toes, you can alternate, you can bend your right and your left knee and alternate and feel that stretch go all the way up into your hip. Oh gosh, that actually feels really, really, really good. Drop your head and slowly come back up. Oh yeah, that's nice. Now another fun little one is the crisscross knee tap. This is great too. The crossing motion actually realigns your meridians, which is just a side little benefit. And this is really great for giving your hips, your legs, your glutes, right? Oh yeah, that feels nice. That feels really nice. Do as many as you can in that short little time period. Keep your shoulders straight, posture, posture upright, and just do a little cross with the upper body. If you want, you can do your elbows. Oh, I start to feel it now. All right, and just release that and just drop back down to touch your toes. Oh. Bend your knees and come up slowly. Watch that spine. Yay, it's another quick little exercise moment here on Yacht Time where we learn how to improve chef life one spare minute at a time. All right, another fun little stretch that's really great to do when you have a spare minute, I call the dish towel twist. All right, so just grab a dish towel, grab any kind of towel, whether it has to do with dishes or not. Put your arms up in the air with the towel. And now you're going to do this motion, but you're going to do it over your head. So you're going to give yourself space. It needs to be somewhere in your galley where you're not going to be interrupted. Here, my hood's a little bit close, but maybe I can turn sideways and improve that a little bit. So just a twist. This is really great for your shoulders. Make sure you go one way and go the other way. Now, holding the dish towel gives you a little bit of stability that your arms aren't flopping all over the place. And now when you're ready, the advanced move, I'm gonna grab my towel a little bit closer, is to combine the hips with the towel movement. So we're going to go around, follow the towel with your hips. It's a little funny, you wanna make sure no one's really watching you. Someone walks by right now, they're gonna laugh at me through the glass. But this is great for loosening up your hips and your shoulders simultaneously. If you have some music on, get your little dance on, right? So your hand is doing this, this movement, but it's doing it up here, right? So it's going around and then you're going around. So hips are going around, really get into it. Bend your knees, bend your knees. Oh yeah, that feels really good. Someone just walked by and they looked and yes, they saw the crazy chef doing weird things. But once you start doing it all the time, people will get used to you being the crazy chef and then they don't pay so much attention to it anymore, but that feels really good. You feel a lot looser in the shoulders, a lot loose in the hips. All right, so let's get back to cooking.